Well, for this year's Cultural and National Heritage Day, there's really no place to be but here in Guangzhou. And one of the special features about this event is that Guangzhou is bringing together all of China's 40 intangible cultural relics. That includes dances, that includes certain parts of knowledge and know-how uh, when it comes to certain traditions and practices. Another main feature of this event taking place here in Guangzhou is that it's celebrating 10 years since the Guangdong Opera, the Cantonese Opera, uh, was inscribed into that UNESCO list of heritage and intangible items. And just looking around me here, we've seen a variety uh, of things on display. That includes weaving. Just here to my right, there's been uh, some pottery, some wood making. I've even seen some silkworms on display. And just around the corner behind me, uh, I saw some paper uh, cutting displays and a chance for people to even get their hands on that and give it a go. So it's really been uh, a mix of events here, a mix of different activities. And there's people from all across Guangzhou, all across China, I should say, coming here to see and, and learn more about their country uh, at this uh, National Culture and Heritage Day. Later on, there'll be a big event, an opening ceremony. There'll be dances, there'll be the opera. Uh, so there's still more to come on this long weekend. Again, there's more to see, uh, there's more to check out, uh, and this weekend looks like it's going to be packed full of fun. Omar Khan, CGTN, Guangzhou.